Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss the surface area of a square base pyramid. Now what that means is that the base is always going to be a square. When we're doing this, you need to notice that there are two forms of height. The one is the perpendicular height in the middle. So we have number one, the perpendicular height, which is in the middle. In this case, it is being given to us, which is 6 centimeters. Then we have the slanted height, which we're going to call L. You can call it anything you want. You can say H, you can say whatever you like. But what I'm emphasizing on is, you see, if you take this triangle out, we've got a height that is 6, which is inside the pyramid. And from the pyramid to the side, we've got a distance, which is 4, because remember, that height is going right in the middle. Now, if the whole length is 8, then the middle is 4. So, we now have this base as 4. So, the slanted height refers to this outside part. Now, if you look, it is actually hypotenuse. So, what do we have? We have 6 squared the slanted height is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we have 6 squared plus 4 squared which is equal to r squared which gives us 52. So we have r squared is equal to 52 giving us r as the root of 52. So the slanted height in this equation is going to equal to the root of 52. Now how do we calculate the surface area? If you take the pyramid and you open it up, what do we have? The net of the pyramid is a square base. Now to calculate the, the area of a square base, we know its length times breadth. Since it's a square, it's going to equal to 8 times 8, which is equal to 64 centimeters squared. Now, how do we calculate the area of the triangle? The triangle is going to be half base times height. Now, remember that the base is 8, but the height is what we had calculated as the slanted height. Can you see? It's actually the one that is running slanted here. But if you look, it's the very same one that is running here. So the slanted height refers to the one going outside, which is the same one we had just calculated. So we know that the area is going to be half base times our height, which is equal to half, our base is 8, and our height is going to be root of 52. But now, the area of the, tri the triangle is half base times height. How many triangles do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to now times this answer by 4. So we have a half times 8 times the root of 52. And then we're going to say times 4, which equals to 32 root of 13, or you can say 115,4. If I want the total surface area, I am now going to add the two areas that I have, which will equal to 179,4. So the total surface area is going to equal to 179,4 centimeters squared. Now let us calculate the volume. The volume of a square base pyramid is equal to 1 over 3 times the area of the base times the perpendicular height. Now previously I had mentioned that area is called the base, the area of the base times the height. Okay, now the reason it's a third is because if you look it's not going straight up, it's going slanted. So what is the area of the base? The area of the base is a square, so we've got 8 times 8, remember length times breadth, times 
what is the height remember we are talking of the perpendicular height so I'm talking of the 6 that is in the middle so we're going to times it by 6 and then this answer we're going to say a third so we have a third times 8 times 8 times 6 which equals to 128 since we're doing volume it's going to be centimeter cubed thank you for watching